If you want to own a rental property, my name is Garrett Wong, owner of Upper Edge Property Management. Today I'm going to be speaking about order of possessions for rent. So, for this specific type of hearing, you have a tenant that hasn't paid their rent. From here you would have to give them an eviction notice. You can find this form on the Residential Tenancies Branch website under Forms. You would fill up the form by entering your name and address and your tenant's name and address. Don't forget to include every single leaseholder on this form. And remember when I discussed photo ID, that's why you wanted to take photos of their license, passport, etc. Getting the leaseholder's name correct on the eviction is critical, otherwise you run the risk of the entire thing being tossed out in court. So again, fill out the form, ensure the spelling of all parties is correct, record the amount they owe in rent and when they need to vacate the unit, and then serve them with the eviction notice. Don't forget to keep a copy for yourself. You're gonna need it when you apply for the order of possession. Okay, diarize when they're supposed to leave, and then visit the property after the deadline has passed. If they're still there, then you'll need to take a copy of the eviction notice and the order of possession application form to the branch and pay the required fee to the government of Manitoba. RTB will give you a scheduled hearing date along with instructions, the order of possession hearing paperwork, and a statutory declaration of service. You'll then need to serve your tenants in person with the order of possession paperwork. I'll expand on strategies in serving tenants in another video. So, you waited for the hearing and the date is fast approaching. Here in Manitoba, it is a requirement for the landlord to provide their evidence to the branch and the tenant at least two days before the hearing. So make sure you're organized. What does that mean? Well, gather any evidence you have. This could consist of phone calls, text messages, receipts, leases, condition reports, and more. Make three copies of the information and ensure you give your tenant a copy and the branch a copy well within the two day time restriction. Believe me, the last thing you wanna do is walk into the courtroom and the hearing officer throws out your evidence because it wasn't delivered on time. You'd have to repeat the entire thing all over again, including the waiting period for the hearing. Meanwhile, your tenant is potentially living in your home for free or performing more damages. And that's it for now. We'll get into more depth and strategy later. Thanks for watching.